I'll be no fat cat man, you hear? Don't think I don't see what happened to Robbie Rajan Klink, okay? That's a question, not a statement. And when you will in them out on carts, getting ready to skin them, do your little run around with their gizzards, and call them me to come pick up the leftovers. Don't expect, don't even consider. But I'm gonna lick my lips, collect the check, and call it even. We were even. We were. And I'm sure you remember. What the fuck are you doing over here? You dancing? Cut some thick ass with the penny line showing in that little head of yours. Get your ass over here and help me move this goddamn rug. I say, let's get this goddamn rug moved. I don't want to piss Jill off. You understand? Bubby, you ever think the reason no dude sticks around you is because you got a stick so far up your ass, you just got to shrink a stick a little bit, shove it in there? That is evidence, you dipshit. I'm just, I'm not trying, you know, man. It's just like they make the reverse Viagra or something. Like, you just hold a nice pack down there, like, oh, we're just going to get you nice and warm, and then mommy's going to suck. Ah! Fucking quit! Ah! Do this, or do I need to take your ear clean off? Help me move the goddamn rug! Fuck! You like that bend? You see where bitching got us? God damn it! You fucking cocksucker! Get your ass over here! What the fuck do you think you're doing in here with all this shit? Oh, Bubby. Bubby's got it all under control. I'm gonna just let her handle it, huh? First off, fuck you. And second off, just because you're right, and just because me and Clay's been playing this old doodad for a month, don't mean you're any less of a chicken shit, no face fuckwad who probably ain't got the balls his mama gave him to snap back a little backwash for the family. You didn't give me a fucking gun! There it is. There we go, Clay. Little bitch boy doesn't have a gun and now he's gonna cry. Wait. Don't give two shits if you die, man. Had you died, maybe I couldn't have got away from this place for a second. Bend, what would you even do without us? Without Jill? Where would you even go? You gonna go to a park? Fly a kite? Get on a swing? Like, seriously, what are you planning on even doing? I might go to the park. I wouldn't have anyone stopping me, would I? Like, grab a burger with a movie? So you don't think you can go see a movie now? Jill's got a fucking gun to your head. Clay, Jill's got a fucking gun to this fuckwad's head saying, don't go see in seventh generation now or fucking rug you, you understand? Oh, fuck. You think you're all there? No, you're the running man. You hold the key, huh? Nope, wrong again. It's me, dumb, dumb, dip from brain. I'm gonna leave. Mr. Frank, I don't think that's gonna end well for you. Just let Miss Walsher here give you your shot. We won't Christ, have to tie you up again. Take this long. There's my me. No one's trying to rug you, Mr. Frank. You just need to calm down. Roger that. Clink, clink, took a bullet. <laughs> Guess you thought I'd put more fuss on. In the brain, over a bloody couch. <laughs> Why was the couch bloody, Mr. Frank? Oh, man, Robbie told you already. Do we you both remember? It. Are you referring to Robert Cohol? We've never spoken to him, Mr. Frank. We only know where he was found. We're hoping you'll remember. Yeah. Just, just let me out. I'm so tired. This house, just like, <laughs> just rug me. <laughs> just get it over with. I, I need Jill. I need. I can't stand this house. I can't stand Jill. <laughs> rug me. Rug me. <laughs> Rug me. I, I, I can't, I can't stand, please. Rug me. Rug me. I can't stand.